Why, hello, Mother Factors! Welcome to another edition of 101 Facts. I'm Sam, and I'm here to talk to you today about the website that makes people come together, with personal pictures and videos able to be viewed and shared at the click of a button. Ew, no, not that one. I'm talking about Facebook. But how did Facebook contribute to the dictionary? How many dead people are there on Facebook right now? Is this the real life, or is this just fantasy? Two out of three of those questions are about to be answered, so get your poking fingers ready to check your brain into a new level of knowledge while accidentally liking your ex's holiday photos. This is 101 Facts About Facebook. Number 1 Facebook was founded in 2004 by Mark Zuckerberg, Duskin Moskovitz, Eduardo Saverin, Andrew McCollum and Chris Hughes in their Harvard University dorm room. It's probably the most decent thing to happen in a dorm room for a long time. Number 2 Facebook was originally called FaceMash, which sounds like a violent attack rather than a social media site, and it consisted of a series of student photos placed side by side for users to vote who was hot and who was not. Ouch, how mean. Number 3. The Big Zuck was almost expelled from Harvard for thieving those student pics for the website, and it was shut down a few days after launch. Number 4. Shortly before this, identical twins Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss <laughs> Winkle hired Zuckerberg as a coder to finish off their new social networking site called the Harvard Connection. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it, does it? Sounds like a song by Kermit the Frog. Number 5 Anyway, on January 8, 2004, Zuckerberg sent them an email stating, <clears throat> I've been completely swamped with work, but I've made some changes and they seem to be working great. That was his actual, that's an actual soundbite we've got there from, from him. <clears throat> he said it would be free to discuss the website further on January 14th. On January the 11th, however, Zuckerberg registered the domain name thefacebook.com. Number 6 Upon the launch of thefacebook.com, the Winklevoss twins discovered that Zuckerberg had left the coding of the Harbour Connection unfinished. The cheeky so-and-so. Number 7 On February 5th, 2004, thefacebook.com was launched and in just 24 hours, 1,500 students had already signed up. Number 8 it was initially open to just Harvard University students only, but then expanded to other colleges in the Commonwealth, sorry, too much Fallout 4, I mean Boston area, then to other Ivy League universities, and eventually to all universities across the United States and Canada. Number 9 In September 2006, everybody in the world above the age of 13 and with a valid email address was allowed access to the site. Ah, oh, 13 year old email addresses. There's a flashback I didn't need. Number 10 in Facebook's first summer, Mark Zuckerberg's family spent $85,000 to keep the company afloat. No, not like that. Number 11. Sean Parker, the co-founder of Napster, became the founding president of Facebook in 2004, after he found the social networking site when his girlfriend, a student at Stanford, registered for a profile. Looking at him there, I can't help but think he has a sexy back. Hey, wait a minute. Number 12. Sean brought in Peter Thiel, the co-founder of PayPal, who became the first to invest in Facebook, injecting a big $500,000 syringe into the fund box for 10.2% of the company. Sorry, that was a metaphor for $500,000. He didn't literally inject it with a syringe that was worth $500,000. Or maybe he did. I wasn't there. Let's move on. Number 13. The The was dropped from the name in 2005 when they bought the domain name Facebook.com for 200,000 big ones. Number 14. Facebook now owns over 1,900 domain names to protect its brand, including IHateTheFacebookLightButton.com and FacebookPorn.com, which is a real shame for those people who love porn involving books with faces on them. Number 15. In just 10 months from launch, Facebook had 1 million users. I bet they liked that. <laughs> Number 16. Nowadays, in the old present, Facebook has 1.5 billion monthly active users logging on and judging their own self-worth by how many likes their posts get and crying nervously when it's under 10. Number 17 Facebook is the second most popular website on the whole of the internet machine, being beaten to the post by those search fiends Google. Number 18 In 2005, MySpace were in talks of buying Facebook, but rejected Mark Zuckerberg's offer of $75 million stating it was far too expensive. It's a shame. I'll never get to have MySpace Tom as a friend on- Oh my god, he's here! Ah, now to play the waiting game! Number 19! 
In 2012, Facebook started selling shares to the public at $38 per share, valuing it at over $100 billion. More than eBay, Groupon, Netflix, 101factorsmylife.com, LinkedIn, and AOL combined. Number 20. Facebook is now worth over 300 billion big old bucks. And Mark Zuckerberg hasn't spent that all on candy yet? He's a man of more restraint than I. Number 21. In 2007, the most famous window makers in all the world, Microsoft, made a $246 million investment for a 1.6% share in Facebook. Number 22. In 2011, Zynga, the gaming company behind games such as Farmville, accounted for 11% of Facebook's revenue that year. However, they did have to get up at the crack of dawn to collect it and then set some more revenue to grow another eight hours time while sending invites to all their friends all the f***ing time to do the exact same thing. Oh, sorry, I'll calm down. Number 23. Facebook is a hotbed for crime. For example, several people have been murdered for unfriending someone on Facebook. Bloody hell. And I thought the dirty looks I got from Aunt Sharon for not liking all her profile pictures were bad. Number 24. An American woman named Nikki Ramusin defriended her friend Jennifer Harris on Facebook back in 2011. Jennifer responded to this perfectly reasonably by trying to burn down Nikki's house. Shit, I didn't see that coming. Number 25. In Great Britain, a woman was sentenced to 20 months in jail for creating fake Facebook profiles to send abusive messages. Oh yeah, I forgot the big bit of this story. To send abusive messages to herself. She was apparently framing some other members of her family, but still, weird. Number 26. In 2014, a burglar was caught after he logged into his Facebook account on the home's computer and forgot to log out before he left the scene of the crime. What an absolute fool. He may as well have checked himself in at the house, the loon. Number 27. Meanwhile, in New York, a 19-year-old man was arrested on suspicion of robbery. All charges were dropped once his defence lawyer found an alibi, a Facebook post he wrote from a different location at the time of the crime. The post said, Where are my pancakes? From now on, I'm going to post that every hour to make sure I'm not incriminated in some random crime. And to, you know, get pancakes every hour. Number 28. A woman embezzled $166,000 from her job at a law firm, the majority of which she spent on virtual coins on the popular Facebook game Yo World. Yo World is going to be a world of pain in prison, lady. Yeah. Number 29. A woman called Kelly Hildebrandt got bored one day and went to see if there were any other people with the same name as her on Facebook. She found a man with the same name who she added and messaged. Eight months later, they got engaged to be married. Aww, that's so romantic and will inevitably be incredibly confusing and frustrating for literally everybody they ever meet. Oh. Number 30. A Facebook glitch meant that a man was accidentally signed into a random female's Facebook page and couldn't log into his. The two ended up talking to try and resolve the issue, became best friends and then got married. Over the course of, you know, six years, it wasn't, wasn't all the same afternoon. Number 31. Facebook has now become so popular that psychologists have identified a new mental health condition called Facebook Addiction Disorder. Number 32. In Australia, it's valid protocol to serve court notices to defendants on Facebook. A summons posted onto Facebook is legally binding. Number 33. In 2009, those chappies over in the Oxford English Dictionary added the word unfriend to its rather extensive list of words with the definition, remove someone from a social networking site. Number 34. In Florida, 16 missing or endangered children were found using Facebook alone. Their photos and recent posts gave investigators clues to their potential whereabouts. Number 35. An Egyptian man named his child Facebook in February. Number 36. Oh, in 2011, an Israeli couple named their child Like after the Facebook feature. I wonder what Like's like and what Like's likes and dislikes are. Number 37. The Like button was originally going to be called Awesome. Sam awesomes this. That doesn't even make sense, Facebook. Come on, I thought better of you. Number 38. The reason for the poke button has never been explained. Some say it's just a harmless feature. Others say the amount of pokes you get in a lifetime represents the amount of tears that will be shed at your funeral. I I think it's probably the first one. Number 39. Gravelly voiced shouter Al Pacino was the first face to be featured on Facebook. His face was placed on the homepage and obscured behind a cloud of binary code. Number 40. The globe on your Facebook notification tab rotates to show the different side of the world you are depending on your location. Which is nice, because you know I often forget what side of the globe I'm on. Number 41. You can't poke anybody in China, North Korea, Vietnam or Iran unless you use your bare finger, as Facebook is banned in all these places. 
the meaning of life. The average smartphone user checks Facebook 14 times a day. I wonder how often the average dumb phone user checks Facebook. Number 43. 600,000 hacking attempts are made on Facebook every day. They all fail and thank God, my snaps from my holiday in Swindon are safe. Number 44. There are on average 3.74 degrees of separation between one Facebook user and another. Meaning most people are a Facebook friend of a Facebook friend of a Facebook friend of one another. Number 45. One in three people feel more dissatisfied with their lives after visiting Facebook. Ah, oh, don't worry you people, you're safe here with me on YouTube. Number 46. There's about 30 million dead people on Facebook. Crikey, maybe they're the one in three I mentioned a moment ago. I'd be dissatisfied with my life if, you know, I didn't have one anymore. Number 47. It's estimated that sometime between the year 2060 and the year 2130, there'll be more dead people on Facebook than alive. Might make for some more, you know, interesting posts at least. Number 48. 8.7% of Facebook users are fake. Not as in a, oh my gosh, she is like so fake kind of way, but a generally artificial way. Number 49. There are more Facebook users in the US than people that voted in the last US election. Number 50. 93% of social media users in Australia use Facebook, unlike Japan where only 23% do. Number 51. Facebook earns approximately $5.85 for every US user. Which I'm sure does your uh, self-esteem the world of good? Number 52. Speaking of money in exchange for bearing at all, approximately 83% of prostitutes have Facebook pages. Don't, uh, don't ask how I, how I found that out though. It's known to increase their list of potential customers. It's uh, made me question my friends list though, that's for sure. Number 53. Facebook employs approximately 11,000 people, which accounts for 0.0008% of all Facebook users. Number 54. The country with the most active Facebook users in the world is... Drumroll please. We're on a budget. Canada. Number 55. Morty. 27 million users posted about Back to the Future Day on Facebook. That's the power of love. I mean, it's not. It's the power of how much people on Facebook like Back to the Future. But I, uh, I just love the song. Number 56. Approximately 2 trillion posts have been made on Facebook. That's 2,000 billion posts. That's enough to make a mailman have an aneurysm. Number 57. 350 million photos are uploaded every day to Facebook. At least 14% of those are people's dinners, and the other 86% are cars and babies, or they are at least according to my Facebook feed anyway. Number 58. 48% of all selfies taken end up on Facebook. I'm guessing they're uploaded by the people who took them, or that's kind of scary. Number 59. Like a kid in a candy store who somehow got hold of his mum's credit card, Facebook likes buying things. Poor example. In 2012, Facebook bought photo filter extravaganza Instagram for $1 billion. Number 60. Facebook tried to buy Sexta's Paradise Snapchat for $3 billion. However, their offer was more rejected than my friend request to Jennifer Lawrence. Number 61. Facebook instead launched Slingshot, their own instant photo messaging app, to directly compete with Snapchat. It was a total flop. Not surprising, really. It's named after something bullies used to use in the 1950s. Number 62. In 2014, Facebook bought WhatsApp for $19 billion, five years after the founder of WhatsApp had failed to get a job at Facebook. Number 63. A third of all divorce filings in 2011 featured the word Facebook. No, not like that. Nintendo, I mean number 64. 100,000 friend requests are made every minute. To who, I'm not sure, but he must be one popular fella. Number 65. The most common type of friend to be unfriended is an old high school friend. So if that guy who used to eat glue suddenly disappears from your timeline, then he's deleted you. I'm sorry to break it to you. Number 66. 83% of parents on Facebook are friends with their teenage children on the site. And hopefully in real life. Number 67. A recent study has suggested that approximately 66% of teenage girls have been bullied over Facebook. If you're doing any of that bullying, stop it. It's really not very nice, and we don't welcome bullies here at 101 Facts. Number 68. In a study of 6,000 people between the ages of 16 and 30, 53% of them said they'd rather lose their sense of smell than their social media networking sites such as Facebook. Where did they take that survey? The annual sewage workers conference or something? 
Number 69. In a study conducted by Jurex, 5% of Brits have used Facebook during sex. Poking on Facebook while poking in person? You dirty dogs. Number 70. The most liked person on Facebook, apart from your slightly inappropriate great uncle, is Cristiano Ronaldo with 108 million likes. Number 71. Everybody's favourite jaundice suffering family, The Simpsons, has the most Facebook fans among all TV shows, with 68 million likes, followed by Mr. Bean with 63 million likes, and SpongeBob SquarePants with 54 million. Number 72. With over 100 million fans, Shakira Shakira is the most liked musician on Facebook. Number 73. Everybody's favourite teeth rotting bevy, Coca Cola, is the most liked business on Facebook with 94 million likes. In second place is Disney with 50 million. Number 74. The most checked in locations on Facebook are Disneyland Anaheim and Times Square, New York. I thought the most checked in place would be a hotel. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Number 75? The most checked in honeymoon location on Facebook is Las Vegas. No doubt with the comment, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, despite the fact they will upload every single thing they do onto Facebook, meaning it doesn't stay in Vegas at all. And she should have married you, she shouldn't have married him. Sorry, sorry, got a bit carried away there. I'll calm down, I'll calm down. Number 76. 30% of Americans get their news exclusively from Facebook rather than news outlets. Number 77. A recent study of 2,000 women found that one in five would answer sex to the question, would you rather live without Facebook or sex? But I don't get why. Sex is the best two minutes of the day. Number 78. 27% of drivers admit they check Facebook while driving their vehicle. God, I hope that doesn't include all vehicles. Number 79. Every single little bit of text you put in the status update box goes to Facebook servers, even if you don't post it. So they know that bitchy comment you were going to make about Craig and his back fat, even if you didn't press post. Number 80. Terrifyingly, Facebook tracks the websites you visit even after you've signed out. This is apparently for advert optimization purposes, but I can't help but feel worried. Number 81. In 2005, a student named Chris Putnam wrote a computer virus that changed Facebook profiles to look like MySpace profiles. The CEO of Facebook managed to track him down and instead of having him arrested, hired him as he showed incredible coding ability. So there's a lesson for you kids. Attack the place you want to work and they might just hire you. Number 82. A man called Steve Chen worked at Facebook for a few months. He left the company to go and set up his own, which he eventually called YouTube. I don't know if you've heard of it, it's pretty underground. Number 83. In 2010, the film The Social Network was released, portraying a dramatised version of the founding of Facebook. Number 84. The film went on to win and be nominated for various awards. However, Mark Zuckerberg expressed his dissatisfaction at the inaccuracy of the plot. For instance, he looks nothing like Michael Sarah. I mean, sorry, Jesse Eisenberg. Number 85. Zuckerberg notes that the film took huge liberties with some of the events, while staying oddly true to others. He noticed that while he had no interest in joining the finals club, an aspect that plays a major role in the film, every shirt and fleece depicted in the movie was an actual piece of clothing he had in his wardrobe. Yes, he's out of money. Mark wears an identical grey t-shirt every day because he says that choosing an outfit in the morning wastes valuable time and energy that could be spent on improving communication throughout the world. How long does it normally take for him to choose one a month? Number 87. Despite his casual wardrobe, he wore a tie every day in 2009 to show that Facebook was keen about growing during the recession. T-shirt and tie combination? See you later, innovator. Number 88. Facebook is primarily blue because Mark Zuckerberg suffers from red-green colour blindness, and if the website was either red or green, it would be a completely blank page to him. That's how colour blindness works, right? Number 89. You can't block Mark Zuckerberg on Facebook. Number 90. Adding a slash and the number 4 to the end of the Facebook URL takes you straight to a Mark Zuckerberg flavoured Facebook page. Number 91. Zucky B does not have a bachelor's degree. Hey, that rhymes. He dropped all the education and learning and stuff and left Harvard to pursue growing Facebook. Number 92. That being said, his Facebook page shows a massive porky pie and states he's a Harvard graduate. He claims that this is because there's no option for dropout. He is the Lord God of Facebook, so he could, you know, easily make an option for dropout. Just saying. Number 93. Mark Zuckerberg has been described as a programming prodigy, creating a computer messaging program when he was just 12 years old. Who did he talk to on it? His action mans. Men, I guess. Whoops. Sorry. Grammar. Number 94. 
he received job offers from Microsoft and AOL before he'd even graduated from high school. Number 95. Beast, Mark Zuckerberg's dog, not the mutant or the princess botherer, has 2.2 million likes on Facebook. That's more than Megan Trainer. I guess now the dog is running laps around the trainer. <laughs> Number 96. Mark Zuckerberg and long-term girlfriend Priscilla Chan got married in 2012. I'm sure it was a lovely surprise for their guests, who were told they were coming to a party to celebrate Priscilla's medical school graduation. That's a bit harsh on the family. I bet the speeches were shit, given they didn't have any time to prepare any. Number 97. Mark Zuckerberg and his wife Priscilla added to their family in December 2015, with the birth of their baby girl Max, named after the title character of Mad Max Fury Road. Okay, not really, but that would have been amazing, wouldn't it? Number 98. In a public letter that Zuckerberg and Priscilla wrote to Max, despite the fact it's impossible for her to be able to read yet, they stated they would donate 99% of the value of their shares to charities. This equates to roughly $45 billion going to good causes. Number 99. Zuckerberg became the youngest billionaire ever in 2008 at the tender age of 23. Number 100. When Facebook changed their privacy settings in 2009, some of Zuckerberg's personal pictures became public. One such picture was him <gasps> drunk holding a teddy bear. I am disgusted. Number 101. Mark Zuckerberg joined Steve Jobs and Google founder Larry Page by giving himself a dollar a year salary. Like the Mile High Club, that's one club I'm never going to be a part of as hard as I wish. That right there was 101 facts about Facebook, and I don't know about you, but I had a lovely time. If you want a change from your slightly racist great uncle's rambling statuses, then why not click on subscribe right now so you know exactly when a new 101 fact episode has arrived into the world. Hey, if you're bored, I've got a game for you. Go on to Facebook, close your eyes, and type random letters into the search bar. The first four or so people that come up, you have to send friend requests to. It's how I made most of my friends, on Facebook and in real life. Although the way you do that in real life is you close your eyes and walk into a pub. It works less well and you get more punches on and around the eye. But hey, it's a pretty good hit rate. Hmm, I feel friendly. I'm going to go give it another go down my local. Back in a bit.